All right. Our first formal analysis is the Arsenal by Diego Rivera. Um, it is a basically a fresco that links a bunch of glass and arms um, that are rising up, that are passing around and starting what looks to be a revolution or a riot. In the middle, you can see a Frida Kahlo Enables to make his art and make his movements uh, so he can spread his messages. Um, second, there is a lot of communist imagery. It is a well known fact that uh, Diego and the other uh, three greats share a lot of communist beliefs because at the time the oppressive bourgeoisie um, basically had pushed the people into a slave like state. And with the arising of the Russian Revolution, communism starts spreading. It, the piece is very chaotic. Uh, there's very little negative space except for the borders, which are tan, kind of like an opening to a, a room. Um, there is kind of a set of order and unison, even though with the chaos, as in the workers wearing blue shirts and the children wearing white. You can see some soldiers in the back wearing white, but the middle of the room, uh, or the majority of the painting, all the people wearing blue shirts, and you have Frida in the middle, she's wearing a red shirt, which will bring your eyes to Frida to make sure you look at her. There's also um, it has tan and brown, red, and yellow hues, which kind of remind me of the works of the Renaissance. Also, the works and the people, they all have expressions of strife and kind of, you know, just fed up like they're ready to roll. The weapons in this piece are also kind of outdated for the time. They're using muskets and, um, Looks like muskets and old, um, basically rifles that look like to be Civil War era, and shows the actual like force down that the workers aren't. It also kind of reminds me of all the uh, Russian Revolution propaganda art, as you can see, the people wearing blue uniforms with red stars, all matching. They're rising up, and you can see people marching down the street 